We're speaking with James Tork uh, from Element 79 Gold. He's the CEO over there. Some news out today. Uh, I wanted to ask you a, a bunch of different questions, not only in regard to the projects that you're involved in, but the overall kind of outlook <laughs> economically, as well as where gold fits in for that strategy. Element 79 uh, acquired a previously producing high-grade gold and silver mine last summer, making sure we had the, uh, you know, our bearings about us in Peru. Uh, it did take us a little bit uh, to actually get up and running, but now that we've uh, started uh, uh, work plans, uh, easing our way towards bringing this mine back into production over uh, the next year, uh, we anticipate somewhere in the next 12 to 18 months to be at a point of extracting ore and generating cash flow through toll processing. That's very exciting. Um, there, like it, the one thing I want to stress is that on this property, it's 26,000 acres of land. That's 2,600 football fields of dirt at the top of a mountain. It was previously in production up until 2005, uh, various phases uh, from the 1950s all the way through to uh, the, the mid 2000s. And um, it was basically shut down just specifically because of economic concerns. So the all in sustaining cost at the time. Uh, you know, uh, exceeded what the uh, the yield was from the uh, ore, and uh, we'll say the market value at the time. So ultimately, uh, it was shuttered. So this mine was previously in production up until 2005, and since that time, the artisanal miners, uh, the local uh, community groups that live and work in the region, uh, they have been producing at somewhere in the range of kind of 10 to 50 tons per day. The permit for us, uh, which is the the standard small production permit in Peru allows for up to 350 tons per day of ore extraction. Um, the benefit to us is that uh, prior to Element 79 having acquired this property, our COO, Antonio Managakis, who was the CEO of Calapui at the time, had already been in discussion with uh, the potential toll milling uh, processor, the who's right down the hill. So the, the point is uh, it's roughly 14 to 15 kilometers down the hill. They have all the infrastructure in place. It's only operating at roughly 60% capacity for about, give or take, 20 uh, days per month. There is obviously capacity for us to move or down the hill to them. Now, before we do that in a hasty manner of just, you know, going up and, you know, uh, blowing a, you know, holes in the uh, existing adits, um, you know, and extracting ore at a rampant pace, we want to make sure that we're not just chasing veins and uh, running at this in a haphazard manner. We want to make sure that we're doing it responsibly and therefore our work plan from now over the next 12 to 18 months includes proving up a uh, more sustainable and hopefully three to five, maybe even eight year mine life um, as we go that way, but also proving up an actual genuine resource. Um, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of uh, data currently available to us. Uh, so we have to work in this plan um, although we have been scouring through our uh, local contacts in Peru to try and get uh, some of the old data sets uh, that we can obviously start uh, modernizing some of that data, doing further drilling, twinning some of that uh, the, the previous, uh, we'll say, drilling patterns that might be there and uh, being able to prove up a resource in the short term.